All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be doing a quick tour of my apartment so you can kind of get an idea of my setup. First, we're gonna start off with my office, my studio. Here we just have my lights, as you can see on the sides, couple microphones, and then my desk. And then we also have printer, pretty standard stuff. And then I also have some interesting Philips Hue and lighting strips for the background. You can see me turn them on right now, as well as some colored Philips Hue lights. So I can just add a little bit of color whenever I want into the background of the video. Getting a bit closer to the desk, we can get a better idea of what I have on the left. We have an AT2020 microphone, a pair of Philips X2 headphones, we also have a G502 Logitech mouse, as well as a Thermaltake mechanical keyboard, and then just some standard memory card readers, and of course, two of my monitors, including a 144Hz monitor from BenQ, and a old standard Monoprice IPS monitor that has reasonably good color for its age, and I use that for better color in editing. You may have also noticed some of the acoustic foam I have on the walls, and that just helps to reduce echo, and that pretty much sums up my studio. Next, this is my bed, and specifically my pillow. As you can see, it's extra absorbent, of course, for the tears. Next, we have my favorite closet in the apartment. It's relatively empty except for a couple jackets, a vacuum, and a Swiffer, but I really enjoy this closet because it's a great way to hide away from the rest of the world. Next, we have this cabinet, which is completely empty except for a couple towels, but I thought I would show you guys because it would be really useful in the future for some storage solutions. Next we have this ceiling fan, which I found to be especially useful at spinning around and blowing air around the apartment, which helps me keep cool and not have to use so much air conditioning. I also want to point out those unusual outlets in the corner because unlike most outlets, they're actually at eye level. So you could theoretically hang a TV there, even though I'm not going to do that. Finally, in my room next to my bed, we have some sort of portal to the demon underworld, which I haven't actually taken the time to go into it, but it wasn't even advertised with the apartment, so perhaps they just forgot about it, the previous owners left it here. But I expect this will come in real handy if I ever have to escape the apartment for some reason in a hurry. I can just pop over into that portal and go into hell. And you know what? Why don't we go in for the first time? I'll take the camera in, you guys can experience it with me. I haven't been in there yet. Let's see what it's all about. 